The numbers in the movie are very, very brief, and so it was realised that the songs would need to be expanded, it, even the, the songs that exist already, and that original songs would need to be written to further the plot. And Super Cal is, a, is an example, because I think in the film it's, it's like 1 minute 58 seconds or something, and in the stage show it's about 6 minutes. Well, it had, you can't excuse that unless you're advancing the story and teaching the children another lesson. But it's not just writing new songs and expanding existing ones that makes the music of Mary Poppins. There's also a whole range of new musical arrangements and orchestrations that help drive the story forward. All of the score, the entirety of Mary Poppins, and there's, I don't know, 4,000 bars or something, got rearranged by me. In other words, exactly how the piano plays the notes of the tune and the accompaniment. The arrangement says, we're going to play it this fast, we're going to cut to this melody, come back to this melody, change it around. But an orchestration is what member of the orchestra is playing what piece of the song. And the orchestrator, in our case, Bill Braun, has decided very carefully which instruments play what and how is that going to sound. You need someone who's extremely skillful in making the choice of instrumentation as important as the choice of the words in the script. There's an interesting case in point with our song Practically Perfect, which Mary introduced herself with. Bill had scored it for woodwinds, so it was quite chirpy and lovely and you heard I'm practically perfect and you had pop, pop, beep, beep, bop, bum, 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 bum. and it was light and delicate and Cameron said that is absolutely not who Mary Poppins is. She comes in, she's brisk, she's no nonsense and so we threw all of that out and it became pecking little muted trumpets that literally go in other words, metaphorically, wagging their finger. Practically perfect in every way. Whilst what she's singing is very jolly and it has a nice bounce to it, underneath it there's this rod of steel saying, now come on, you're going to do as I tell you. We want the music to sound like you're hearing it played as it is in a theatre, to connect to the sound of theatre music and not try to simply reproduce the big, beautiful, booming film sound, but a young, lively, vibrant pit band, and that's what we do.